Home automation can be a lot. You've got the individual devices like smart light bulbs, outlets, and things like the Nest thermostat, or you can get entire smart systems like smart things. The options are endless. But what does all this smart stuff do? Well, home automation can be broken down into two parts automation and remote control. Think of the Nest thermostat. It's a smart device that most of us have seen around and a great example of these two functions. The Nest is automatic because it has a built-in motion sensor, so it can detect whether you're home or not and adjust accordingly. And it even learns your heating and cooling habits over time. It's remote controlled because you can control it from a mobile app anywhere in the world. That app is a hub for your Nest device, but a hub can be much more than that. The right hub can bring together a ton of different devices from lots of different brands. Some smart tech is starting to build hubs right into their devices, like the Amazon Alexa or the Google Home, the smart speakers. I use my Google Home as a hub for my Lumimon smart light bulb, and I can literally tell Google to turn the lights on for me. It's basically like living in a spaceship. Home security systems are another popular option for a hub tech combo. ADT's Pulse system allows you to integrate all your smart devices, lights, door locks, whatever, into its control panel. You can receive alerts and check on your home through your phone anytime, anywhere. No more anxiety and no need to ask your cousin to house it. Now picture this. You're going on vacation to somewhere exotic, but you're stressed and sleep deprived from packing. You get to the airport and realize that you forgot to do basically everything. Can't remember if you turn the lights off or the temperature down or if you close the garage. Well, if you're in the home automation game, you can just go into your hub's app and take care of all of it. Plus, you can schedule your heat to turn back on right before you get home so that your house isn't freezing. So is all this smart home automation stuff worth it? It all depends on what makes sense for you. Would I get a smart coffee maker that auto brews at 7 a.m.? Even though that sounds cool as hell, probably not. But I have stubbed enough toes in the middle of the night that spending 20 bucks on a smart light bulb is worth it to me. You could start with something like the Smart Things Starter Kit that runs for just a little over $100, you get a hub and a few other devices to start your smart home, or you could just start smaller with something like a smart speaker and then add a smart light bulb later, like I did, which can run anywhere from 20 to a couple hundred bucks depending on what you wanna spend. Home automation is not something to be afraid of. Smart devices are made to fit anyone and their specific lifestyle, and most of the popular brands are user-friendly. Chances are, there's a product out there that can make your life a little more convenient. You can find more thoughts on home automation at reviews.org, which I'll link to in the description below. Remember to like and subscribe and comment with your dream smart device. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next review.